Hey, it's Tooth from Hypop, and today we're diving into the art of product photography for e-commerce. If you're excited to learn, hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so, and let's get into it. So before we dive into the actual shooting process, let's make sure your products are ready to be shot. Presentation is key and you want your products to look perfect. So clean and polish them to perfection and don't forget the packaging, it needs to be flawless. We don't want any wrinkles or dents stealing the spotlight. To avoid leaving any fingerprints on your beautiful products, remember to wear gloves during handling and remove any plastic seals that might hinder that perfect shot. First, let's talk about lighting. Should you use natural light or artificial light? As much as we love the sun, it's not the most reliable partner in the photography world. With changing weather conditions and inconsistent lighting, relying solely on natural light can lead to frustration and inconsistency in your product photos. If you're a business owner, listen up. To secure those captivating product shots that convert customers, investing in artificial lighting is a must. All right, so you decided to take product photography seriously and invest in a light. Which one is right for you? Should you go with a continuous light or a flashlight? Both types of lighting have their pros and cons, and the decision will vary based on factors such as the shooting environment, subject, artistic vision, and budget. The perfect choice for beginners would be a continuous light like the Godox SL60, for example. With continuous lights, what you see is what you get. They provide a consistent, controllable light source, making them an excellent starting point for your product photography journey. They're not as powerful as strobes, but if you're shooting smaller objects like we did here, you won't need that much power. Now let's talk about flashlights, my personal favorite. Flashlights offer more power and flexibility, making them perfect for tackling various shooting scenarios. With a flash, you're able to freeze motion, shoot objects of different sizes, overpower your ambient light, and produce highly professional looking results. The Godox MS300V, for example, is a good option if you're just starting out. Now that your products are prepped and the lighting is set, it's time to consider the perfect backdrop for each product size. For e-commerce photos, a clean white backdrop is the ultimate classic. For larger items like furniture, opt for a larger paper backdrop roll. These white rolls create a seamless canvas for your grand pieces, allowing them to shine without any distractions. If you don't need as much space, consider a half paper roll backdrop. This setup gives you the flexibility to highlight your products while maintaining that clean, professional aesthetic. Here, we're shooting a range of beauty products, and for this shoot, our half paper roll worked perfectly. You can even shoot bigger products like a small suitcase or a chair on it. Finally, for small products like jewelry, just a flat light backdrop will do. You can use them to shoot your products top down, or you can use them like a seamless paper roll by taping one side on the wall and the other side on the table. They come in different colors and patterns, and some of them are even double-sided for more versatility. They barely take up any space too, so with just a few of them at home, you'll be able to shoot both e-commerce photos and style shots. If you're interested in a tutorial on how to take style shots of your products, let us know in the comments. Next up, we have two essential tools if you're dealing with reflective objects. First off, we have our white diffusion paper roll, which comes in really handy for standing products. The diffusion material softens harsh reflections, making sure reflective objects like wine bottles, for example, can shine without any distracting glares. They're really easy to use too. You just put them on a C-stand and roll out as much diffusion material as you need. Now, for those lying products like jewelry, Photography cones are here to save the day. They come in three different sizes. This one is a standard size for smaller objects, such as a lipstick or sunglasses. This is a large cone for bigger products like a kettle. And this is a smartphone cone that has a really small opening. The way you use them is you place your product on a white background 
and then you take the cone and you put it on top like this. Now all you need to do is add the light source and it will wrap around your product beautifully without leaving distracting reflections. If you want to take your product photos to the next level, turntables are a great investment. These incredible devices allow you to capture your products from every angle, making your customers feel like they're almost holding the products in their hands. Turntables also let you create 360 degree videos of your products. How cool is that? At Hypop, we offer the Foldio 360 by Orange Monkey, which is not only a turntable, but an all-in-one solution, so really beginner friendly if you're shooting smaller products. And the Spin Studio, that has a weight limit of 100 kilograms, so even humans can stand on it. Let's finish off this video with six pro tips for professional e-commerce photos. Number one, use a color card for correct white balance. This will make sure your product photos look as close to the real life product as possible. Number two, if you're shooting with a camera, opt for high f-stop and low ISO settings for sharp, clear photos that make your products pop. Number three, fill in shadows with a reflector to achieve a balanced and flattering look. Four, resist the urge to over-edit. Your products need to look true to life. Five, utilize AI tools to remove backgrounds effortlessly, ensuring your products shine against any canvas. Number six, complement your e-commerce photos with style shots that create an emotional connection with your audience. For all your photography, lighting, and equipment needs, head over to our website at hypop.com.au. I'll see you in the next tutorial.